Yay, it works. Okay, using my new tripod. Ooh, look, Mom, no hands. I got a tripod for Christmas. Ooh. Okay, so I have to be a little bit quiet because there's people upstairs. But I have a chapters book haul. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting this for a long time. And this is my bookshelf. I should do a bookshelf tour. That would be cool. But anyways, let's get started. First you're gonna need scissors. It's like it's craft time. Okay guys, grab your scissors and be careful. No running with the sharps up. I don't know why. Okay, I ordered 27 books from Chapters and they sent me one separately. Okay, it was like a day earlier than all the other ones. All right, that's cool. That's my mommy. Okay. Here we go. I'm always scared that when I open the boxes, I'm gonna like tear open the book and like, I'm very anal when it comes to my books. Like I like them in like perfect condition. And the battery's at 5%. So let's hurry this up. So this one, The Complete Works by Florence Skoll Shin. Shin? Shin. So this is like, um, it's about like affirmations and like positivity and like the secret and like personal development. So if you like that kind of stuff, you'd probably like this. And I've already read like one of the sections from this and I really liked it. So I got like The Complete Works. One down, 26 to go. Okay. This is raw footage. This is the real shit. wanted this book for so long and it was on sale and I think it was like 50% off this I think it came to like six bucks which is like really good Cameron Diaz I've always looked up to her even me and my friend Jessica we watched Charlie's Angels on the weekend she's so amazing I loved her in something about Mary and just her body and her persona and her happiness and her smile and she just like has a glow to her you know and I want to read about what she has to say about that you know what I'm saying I've already read this book, but it's the last book in the Lux series. As you can see, I have all three right here. So this is just the fourth book, and I'll be doing a review on the series soon. Holy, this is a ginormous book. This is massive. But anyways, Sarah J Moss is fucking awesome. Uh, Throne of Glass is an amazing book series. I have read up to the fourth, third, or fourth one, and I'll be doing a book review on that series once I finish, but this is gonna be like, whoa. Okay. This one, this one I've read. So I've read the first, second, third. Oh yeah, it says right here. So I've read this one and this one. Actually, I've only read the first two. I felt like so much happened. missing a book anyways so I read those ones really excited love that series the magic of believing Dweed has this book he highly recommended it it's a personal development type of secret type of book it's good of course I had to purchase this in hardcover as well it's so beautiful my water section is here mm. I haven't read this yet, so I'm kind of behind in that way, but I gotta read this. The Secret. 
Secret Garden. Such a cute childhood book. I've never actually read it, but I'm going to add it to my classics collection. Holy shit, are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm so returning this. But, um, oh, this book I'm actually reading right now. It's called Destined. It's by the House of Night. House of Night series, which is here. There's 12 books in the series, and this is book nine. Yes, I've read nine of these books. This book I read as a kid, and I really liked it, and there weren't many books that I really, really genuinely enjoyed as a kid, so this was one of them. So I'm going to reread that. He's just not that into you, you know what I'm saying? I remember reading this, and it really just gave me a wake-up call to guys. Guys, they're not very, you know, manipulating and emotions and trying to make you believe one thing and not... You know, that's a girl thing. But with guys, if he's interested in you, it'll show. If he's not interested, it will show. So, he's just not that into you. That's it. So, that was a good book. This is another installment of the House of Night series. Another installment of the House of Night series. Oh, this book is so cute. Look how beautiful. Oh, 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 so beautiful. Me and Jessica went to see this in theaters and it was pretty good. A little bit lower than I expected, but I mean, it's the Harry Potter world. Can't go wrong. This is a cool design too. The hell is that? Is that like a phoenix or something? I don't know. The Assassin's Blade. This is the book that Sarah J. Moss, she put together all the novellas. And a novella is like a mini version of a novel. So she put together all the novellas into this book. So it's kind of like the prelude, but I think I'm just gonna read it last. As a man thinketh, another personal development book that Juiz read, and he says it's kind of complicated and hard to get through, but I'm gonna try and get through this one. This was the... All right, and we're back. I love my camera battery. Anyways, so, as I was, as I was saying, this book, the Perks of Being a Wallflower is a really, really sweet book. The author wrote it very well. I'll be doing a review on like all these books, but this book, like, it made me cry, and like, that's rare. Like, it was a very touching book. So, pick that one up. Brian Tracy's Focal Point. I actually saw this in a Lululemon store, so I thought that was pretty cool. And Juwita says, pretty good book, so gonna read that. Howl's Moving Castle. Have you guys seen that movie with um, Studio Ghibli with like Totoro and all those characters? There's also a Howl's Moving Castle and it's based off of this book. And the book is very similar to the movie but it kind of just dives into like a whole bunch of other details that's not in the movie. Jessica recommended me this book and I read it. And she read it in one day. I read it in like a few days, but like a book. Fangirl. This was a cute book. Like there's not really any other book that's sort of like this, like fangirling on like series like Harry Potter and stuff. So this was cute. By the same author is Eleanor and Park. And I'm gonna be reading this one because I've already read it. The Diary of a Young Girl. This one was a cute book too. This book is kind of similar to Perks of Being a Wallflower or like J.D. Salinger's whatever that book was, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. It's kind of like that kind of book. I'm sorry, I'm like having to like, uh, hello. But it's like, I would be like totally cut out. Hello. Anyways. Classic. 
The Outsiders, another classic book. It's about like gangs and loyalty and what friendship means. Another Sarah J Maas book. I heard a lot about this series, Percy Jackson. It's kind of like a Harry Potter type of movie or a book. And I think they actually did come out with a movie. But yeah, I wanted to give it a try. So I bought all of them. Okay, and The Science of Getting Rich. This book took me like two hours to read. That's it, two hours. And more House of Night. This is 10, 11, 12. So I haven't read these ones yet. It's so exciting, so exciting. I love this series about vampires and evil and good and love and friendship and goodness. It's kind of like Harry Potter, but like with vampires. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my chapters haul. Um, let's see, what else? Yeah, I gotta clean that up. I don't even know where I'm gonna put all these books because it's not even gonna fit. But I just said to myself, worst case scenario, I'm just going to stack a tower full of books from the floor up. Oh, and hello. Look at this. And this is what I got today, which is just kind of random, but I just kind of wanted to show it just to mention it. This from Best Buy. It's an eye home. And it like, changes color. Ooh. Because like when you wake up, it has like an ambiance color to it and it's like the brightness starts increasing and increasing and even the volume you can have it set to increasing increasing or a radio or an alarm or you can put two alarms so I'm gonna check that one out and see how it goes me and Jessica bought these boar bristles which is like really good for your hair and it feels really nice on your scalp and it promotes the health for your scalp I don't know why I'm talking like this, but it's very nice. Very expensive, but it is very nice. Boar bristle. Also something random. I bought from The Innate Life. I bought their scalp treatment. Because I'm really into like oils and healthy hair and everything lately. So here's the package that I got. So cute. Like, isn't this so cute? This little bag with there and so small. And you open it. See? This one's dandruff treatment. It's pretty cool. You know? So I'm gonna try that out and I'll let you know how it goes. But I'm probably gonna do a video about like all of my hair care stuff, like the boar bristle, that skull, but I do like oils and stuff. Also, I don't know like, if I should mention this or not, but what the hell? This was uh, what I got from the grocery store. Metro. Metro is like so overpriced. I'm gonna try these sardines. I don't know if I'm gonna like them or not, but there's this girl on YouTube called Sarah's Day, which I follow, and she recommends having sardines because there's omegas. It's kind of like tuna, but you get omegas and like tons of protein, like 17 grams of protein just in this one little pack. And then she also recommended in her recent video of alfalfa sprouts with your eggs. And with your eggs you can put like alfalfa sprouts, you can put spinach, you can make a smoothie, you can put onions, you can put butternut squash, but that's getting complicated. I'm just going to go simple and I'm going to get the, the sprouts first and try that out. Also I tried this Miss Dash chicken spice because I've been making chicken. Actually I made... I use this one, garlic and herb, and that one tastes pretty good, so I'm going to try this one that's like specifically for chicken. I'll show you what I meal prepped. I have two left. I made it a couple days ago, and this is what it looks like. There's like chicken, grape tomatoes, quinoa, carrots, kale, and I use that herb for the chicken, and it tastes amazing. And I also used this. Nando's Piri Piri sauce, and I think I use a little bit too much because it was really spicy. But it added that spice to it, you know. 
also pineapple chunks for my smoothie mickin you know with bananas and stuff and I'm gonna try this out it's like $2.50 normally it's like five or six dollars so this seems like it would be good it's like a cauliflower curry bowl so that'd be good for like a lunch but it's 20% fat like I don't even know where they got that from but like what there's fat and cauliflower like, I don't think so so it must be in the sauce but yeah that was my chapters slash Best Buy slash groceries slash hair products video I hope you guys enjoyed leave a comment if you want me to do like a bookshelf tour or um, a book review on any of those books that I just said I'm gonna be reading some of those but I've read a lot of them so if you want to know more just let me know and this is my new place by the way, this is like my kitchen and well my TV box because I was afraid that I might need it if I had to return it so I kept that so it's kind of a mess. And then this is my new tripod, beautiful. And then my bookshelf that I have no more room for books yet I buy more books. Yes.